Editing Christine here. So I'm here to not land this airplane, but to navigate you through this vlog because I did a shit job uh, narrating while I was, on, I was on vacation. So I did get a lot of help. I was here with Lisa and Jason. Jason's my boyfriend, Lisa's his sister. And they did take some footage. And so um, this is kind of like a collaborative effort. I'm just gonna get right into it. We got there um, to bed like late in the afternoon um, on a Thursday. Right away, we had to like unload and get something to eat real quick. So we went to this place called Brooklyn Residency, which was pretty close by. We got some like chicken sandwiches. Right afterwards, we had to go to the Upper East Side where Gossip Girl is because Lisa um, got invited to go to this open house uh, for this program that she's interested in, in um, restoring art. So let's say you have a painting that's from I don't know, hundreds of years ago, right? Um, it would be the person who like restores it. So like takes away the varnish and then cleans up everything and then puts a layer of varnish on and then repaints it in a way so that it's in layers so that in the future, if someone else wanted to restore a work of art, then they can remove the existing layer from the previous restorer. <laughs> I don't know what you call them. But there's like so many different variables too because there's a person who does like the backing of um like the wood backing of a painting there's a person who does like sculpture so right after that we went over to the lower east side and then we had a beer there was cat's deli which is right there and we were hungry so um we stopped in which i know it's like a kind of like a tourist trap but i have been craving um matzo ball soup for about a week. Actually, it happened that I woke up one morning and I was like, man, I really want some matzo ball soup. And then I got up, I looked at my phone, looked at my calendar, and it happened to be Passover. And then the last day that we ended up getting it, um, it was the last day of Passover. So that's kind of funny. Lisa, what did you order? I got half sandwich, egg salad, and matzo ball soup. Nice. Both styles of pickle. Oh, yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. The latkes. Oh, there was three. I already had one while I was waiting for you guys. Yeah. Some mac and cheese. Uh, macaroni salad. And mac and cheese. Nice. Cool. Want to dig in? I always thought that it's going to be like really like everyone's in a rush because it's always super crowded in there. But everyone in there is super nice and patient and um, yeah, the service was incredible. The food was good too. And I got the pastrami sandwich, which they give you a slice of the pastrami at the counter so that you can sample it so i gave some to lisa to try and she usually hates pastrami but she loved it so um yeah highly recommend the following day was richie's day so i got to hang out with my friend richie um he was in la the month before so you know what actually during this trip i didn't really tell anyone that i was in town unless they were in la before so i'd let them know but I only let two people know that I was there. Yeah, so Richie took us around. We went to Greenberg's Bagels first. And then right afterwards, he's like, let's go uh, look at some galleries in Chelsea. So we went over to the city again and then checked out some galleries. Pretty cool. There were a lot of galleries. And then afterwards, um, there's the High Line there, which is like a very touristy thing to do. But we did it the last time we were there too, and it was enjoyable. So then we walked it and then got a drink somewhere it's not a memorable place it was kind of like spendy afterwards we were just walking around uh lower east side again we went to this place called prince street pizza which is fantastic i got a vodka slice um i think they're known for like their pepperonis that are almost like bowls little bowls i think that's what they're known for but i got a uh, vodka slice sl vodka slice and it was delicious and then we went to elizabeth street park small park between buildings and um, there's a bunch of statues around and it's super cool. And then right after that, we went um, back, but over to Greenpoint and then hung out at this park called Marsha P. Johnson Park. We sat next to this like group of like a ton of ants on this like little um, patch of grass. It was insane. After we watched the sunset, we went to Muji. I love Muji and every single time I go to New York I try to stop by a Muji because we don't have it in LA anymore. I always get these pens and I love them and I always thought that they made them in 0.38 but they don't. This is 0.5. But I love these because they're like clicky pens and 
they have a really nice weight to them and yes i got three colors you can get them online too it's not a big deal on saturday we woke up and decided that we wanted to spend the day thrifting so we went to williamsburg and went to a bunch of different thrift stores um there's l train vintage there's beacon Clos beacon's closet there's like i think a place called vintage jungle or something like that yeah i actually found this shirt let me grab it real quick i found this shirt at beacon's closet and i got it right away only because when i was a kid um we had a lot of chores because there's like five kids and my parents needed to keep us busy so my chore was or my main thing was um to iron my dad's work shirts and he didn't have a lot of variety in his work shirts he always wore like a white shirt with i don't know some stripes or like a grid pattern mostly white but he had one or two shirts that looked exactly like this like navy with red red and white stripes and i remember really loving this because or loving ironing this because um you have to go in between the lines because they're different textures so this fabric is thinner and this fabric is a little bit more thick so you have to go in between to make sure that it doesn't like pucker i saw this and i was like oh my gosh and it like all these memories rushed back so I got it for myself. It's um, not actually my style, but it's nostalgic, so that's why I got it. It's nice. It's like a silk shirt from Israel Marat for only like $20 at Beacon's Closet. Thrifting and vintage shopping in New York is really good in comparison to LA because the pieces in LA, something like this would be so much more expensive. So yeah, it's actually a lot more affordable in New York to buy secondhand. Right after thrifting all morning and maybe late afternoon, um, we stopped by a grocery store, picked up some sandwiches, and then went to McCarran Park and just ate our sandwiches and, uh, we watched people throw frisbees around. It's a great place for people watching because everyone's so stylish. People are walking by. We walked around for a little bit in the same area and then parted ways. I went to, um, I started walking over to Williamsburg, which is, I don't know, a couple miles away or something like that. And then I went to this place called the Four Horsemen which my friend Timmy was working and I didn't know whether or not he was going to be working but I just wanted to surprise him at work so then I, I came up and I kind of just stood at the door for a little bit and it, it was a Saturday, you know, so they were packed um, but he, he saw me and he was like, no, I, I want to get you a seat so then um, he sat me down, got me, I think, a pet nap um, and I drank it and then we just kind of like talked a little bit, but he was working so I didn't really want to bug him. So then I left, got some Mexican food and then walked home. Sunday was our museum day. So we went to the wit first. Yeah, most of the floors were closed, unfortunately, but we got to see some stuff, which is great. And then afterwards we made our way over to the folk art museum. But before that we had a halal cart, which I think was one of my favorite meals of the entire trip. It was delicious and it was really affordable. I think it was only like $90 a plate. So we went to the Folk Art Museum and looked at some quilts, looked at some handmade goods. Lisa and I got e-bikes. Jason got a regular bike. We biked to the Staten Island Ferry um, like terminal and parked and then rode on the ferry um, to Staten Island, which is a free ferry. So it's a really fun thing to do. You can see the um, Statue of Liberty and it's kind of a nice break from being in the city. Got some ice cream at the haagen Kind of stayed there for a little bit and then rode back. Right when we got to the city, we kind of rushed to go to the booty store because it was closing at 7 and uh, we just wanted to get there quickly. So then um, we went, we looked around and it was super inspiring and cool. I, I love that store. The, the one in LA is great too, but the one in New York is very special because it feels like a living room. Um, and then since Bodhi is in Chinatown, we decided to get dim sum for dinner. So we went to this place called Nam Wa Tea Parlor, and I guess it's the oldest tea parlor in New York. And oh, that was a delicious meal. I think Lisa said that that was her favorite meal. Monday, the following day, we went to Dumbo and hung out. So we went to Front Store General. It's a general store. They sell stationery, um, home goods, vintage clothing, new clothing, um, army surplus type things. And then we went to a bookstore on our way to Grimaldi's Pizza, which was really good. It's like a nice 
thin slice of pizza. We got like a big pizza and we split it. We made our way back up to the Upper East Side because Lisa had a dinner situation with um, the school that she is thinking about applying to. And um, yeah, so we rode up there and then Jason and I decided to go watch a movie. So we watched Air, the movie about Michael, Michael Jordan's um, his shoes, his his Nike Jordans. It's like the making, the behind the scenes of that. And and then right afterwards, we went to a Belgian bar, a Belgian beer bar, to wait for Lisa to get out of her um, her meeting, her dinner meeting. And then afterwards, we met up with Lisa and went to this place called Thai Diner in the Lower East Side again. Um, and that was delicious. The manager Kelly was working, and he's friends with my friend Timmy. And I've met her. I don't know several times i'd say like at least five times and she came out and gave us dessert and um yeah that was such a great place i, I love that dinner on tuesday this is lisa's last day we rode our bikes to bk bagels and got sandwiches and they were delicious they were hefty they were like big ass sandwiches i ate half and then ate the other half later on and then we rode our bikes to um prospect park did a couple rounds and then walked around Park Slope, um, and then biked home for Lisa to pack. But the following day, Wednesday, um, I met up with my friend Noah, who um, the last time that I was there in New York, I DJed at The Lot Radio with him, and that was really fun. But we met up at this place called Maya Kanji to get some kanji, and it was so good. And they had so many different ingredients and different ideas. Um, for toppings and stuff so I was super excited to I don't know take notes and try it at home because I love making kanji I think it's such an easy meal to make and it's such a comfort food for me but after kanji uh, Jason and I went back over to the Lower East Side again and um, we got tickets to go to the Tenement Museum which people constantly talk about um, unfortunately I think they were doing a lot of construction so we booked a tour um, to see one spot and I don't know, it was kind of a short um, tour. The tour was called 100 Years Apart, so it documented a family in, I believe, the 70s and then a family in the 1870s. It was really cool, um, but it was a pretty short one hour tour. And then afterwards, we decided to go up and visit Zay Bars, uh, looked around, ended up going next door to the deli area. All right, what'd you get? How are you filming my takeout Reuben panini? Should have grabbed more mustards. Oh, I got... And the real star was that soft serve ice cream you got. Yeah, we got soft serve ice cream. It was really good. This is... The cookie of the year. Black and white. This is the third one that we're having um, on this trip so far. All, from all different places. Too. All different places, yeah. What's the story behind this cookie? <laughs> Do you know? No, no. This is a black and white. There's like a white side and a black side, obviously, chocolate. And it's a cookie, but it's more like a yellow cake, texturally. Mm. If you like a cupcake but you only like the top part of the cupcake, that's what you get with this. And after that we went back over to Greenpoint and then had some dinner at a restaurant which I, I don't remember the name of. On Thursday we slept in a little bit and then met up with my friend Timmy to go to the Brooklyn Botanic Garden which I think we got really lucky in terms of timing because all the flowers are in bloom. It was like cherry blossom heaven. Can you explain it? Can I explain what? Can you explain what it smells like? Oh, this one? Jeez, I don't know. I don't, I don't, know, I don't have a good language for describing scents. It's not... I gotta say, I'm just getting the, the five spice smell again <laughs> with the different flowers. Where is this? Are they the same? Is it? We 
went to all the different little areas. So there was like a cactus area, there was a jungle area, there's like orchids and stuff. And then we kind of just laid out on this field and enjoyed the flowers around. And um, Timmy was there with his friend Gabby and she was blowing bubbles. So the kids were like walking around and stuff. It was a really nice um, time. And then we were hungry. So then we went over to Barbancino Pizza and split a big pizza and some beers. And then afterwards, um, Timmy thought of the idea to go to this bar called Luna Tico, which is right by where we were staying. And that had been on my list for a while, but I never made time for it. But on our way there, we found this place called Middle East and Indian Spice Shop. And we stopped in, looked around, Timmy bought some candy or some ginger candy. And then I found this, which was actually in the apartment that we were staying in. So Alex and Connor have this, but in red. And I saw it and I'm like, oh, they got it at this place. It was only like $4. And then after that, we went to Luna Tico to have some drinks and um, enjoy the live jazz. So now it's Friday again. And um, I woke up that morning wanting to go to Coney Island. And so I went with my friend Richie. We got some hot dogs at Nathan's, obviously. And we also had their onion rings, which they're tempura battered. That was delicious. And that's, I think that was my favorite part, even more so than the hot dogs. I love hot dogs, but the tempura battered onion rings, that's the way to go. Coney Island's funny because when I looked up recommendations on what to do in Coney Island, people were saying, you should spend the whole day there and like do this and that and this and that. But there's, I mean, as an adult, there's not really that much to do. So Richie and I rode out there for like an hour and then spent maybe two or three hours there, kind of walked around and talked a lot and ate food. And then we rode back immediately. So we were back by, I don't know, four. So then Richie and I parted ways and then um, Jason and I met up and then we decided to go to this place that was, oh my gosh, this place was really cool. It was called Trad Room. I think it's Japanese food, but they have a bunch of other food too. So that was delicious and it's a really cute ambiance. Great for date night. So it's Saturday again and um, it's our last like real day there. So we wanted to make the most of it. So we biked around all day. So we biked to Brooklyn Bagels first, which is pretty close by. I got an onion bagel with lox smear. Schmear? Bread. New Yorker, which is sort of like the good version of Christine's. Oh, dang. Those are not tomatoes, are they? Both. It's tomatoes and lox. Damn. And papers and onions. I'll share, I'll split half with you. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> okay. Take a bite. I want to get a reaction. A long video bite. Good. And then took our bikes over the bridge. Um, to Chinatown because there's this place called Fong An which is a tofu house. I saw a video online about their tofu and how they serve it in a sweet way. Also savory too but in a sweet way so um, that's how my mom used to eat it when I was younger. Like she would have like really soft tofu with some ginger syrup and then we just eat it like a dessert and it was delicious but I haven't had it in a long time so I wanted to try it at Fong An so we went there had some. Off like this and then they would put ginger syrup in it, so little chunks of ginger. But then they, they're doing it with grass jelly and taro and red bean. And this is almond sugar, or almond syrup, I guess. This is ginger syrup. It's really good. And what's the base? Tofu. It's, is it sweet on its own? No, or it, it... it's just plain. Got so it. you could have the savory, almost like muffled tofu. So, so the toppings determine. Mm -hmm. Sweet or savory? Yeah. The toppings and the syrup, obviously. Mmm. You should try some before you eat it all. This is the map of what we did, kind of, or half of it, because I forgot to Strava. But um, this is basically what we did. And then we stopped to get a beer. Um, and then I braided my hair. And I was looking on Instagram, and then I saw that um, Idan was playing. That's, that's Idan. He's like my favorite rapper. Turn, well he's always been like a, a DJ, MC, music collector. He went to Berkeley Music School. 
Um, and because of him, I, I, I just love psychedelic music and music outside of what people normally sample in hip hop. And he's playing in Brooklyn. And the last time we were here, we were gonna go out to freaking Rockaways, but it was raining and he canceled his show. And then at the same time, Noah texted me about this DJ thing on St. James. So then I met up with him there, had like one beer and just hung out for a little bit. And then went back home and um, met up with Jason to go to Ori Bar, O-R-E, in East Williamsburg to see Edan. And it started pouring. Hey, what are we about to do right now? We're about to go see Edan again in the rain. We'll explain again. We tried to go see him last time in Rockaways and he was rain. And but that was outdoors. That was outdoors. Today is an indoor show. It's just right there. Yeah, we made it three blocks from the subway. And all we gotta do is go two doors down. So we'll, we'll, we'll make a run for it, right? So we showed up at this bar and it was raining and there were some people at the bar, but I don't think anyone really knew who he was or, I don't know, people were just not paying attention. So then we got a drink and we sat down and then um, I was like, I have to say something. I have to go say hi or something, you know? So then I went up and I was like, hey, I um, I really love your music. And he was like, oh, thank you, you know? And I was like, yeah, I be and I did the whole spiel of what I just told you. And then he was like, yeah, thanks, awesome, whatever. And then he asked me at one point, he was like, oh, so like, what got you into my music? And I think he meant DJing because he kind of stopped. I mean, he, he'll be featured on other people's albums, but he did, he hasn't made a rap album in a while, in like 20 years. He's like, so what made you get into, what made you like get into my music? And I was like, oh, Beauty and the Beat, which is this album that, this album right here, yeah, this album, um, like, really changed my life. <laughs> I know, it sounds so corny, but there's so many hidden samples in there, and it's almost like going through and, like, solving a riddle, because there's so many different things to learn. I told him it was this album, he was like, oh, okay, and he shook my hand, and, um, yeah, it was really cool to be able to tell him how much his music means to me. It took like an hour to get back home from East Williamsburg to Bed-Stuy, maybe because of the rain and maybe because it was late and like not as many trains run when it's late. But the following day was the day that we needed to pack up and clean everything and then go home. So we had peaches for breakfast, which is this southern food breakfast um, diner area, and um, and then we went home. And that was it. So I hope you enjoyed this New York vlog. I hope you enjoyed this narration. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.